Hey everyone, uh, I'm Alfred. Welcome back to My Lovely Daughter. Um, I finally, God, you fucking guys. I finally finished filling this out. Um, I was confused about what I was missing. Uh, I was missing actual, no actual homunculi. Uh, the thing I was missing was this, which is a fucked up weird homunculi, and this, which is also weird. Um, Because early in the game, I, uh, they were like, Hey, don't fucking crisscross your homunculi. It's bad for business. And I was like, okay, I won't. However, um, immediately. You failed me and destroyed my chance to beat the hoodlums. You know better than they are. I wanna work here. Um. Oh shit, I forgot to make a new one. Yeah, they were just things where I, I didn't make them in full. But those are all considered separately, and they're all their own unique thing. So, um, yeah, I've come, I've made every homunculus. Anger. Oh, fuck. God, I'm running out of these things. Jesus, this sucks. I mean, it's only because I never spend time with her, never meet her, never look at her. Oh, we got a letter. Gweta. I'm being in town, but I feel as if someone's watching me. One of my sisters in some parts of town are nice. I'll stay in the areas where I see children. I'll keep working hard for you. Oh, thanks, Guetta. Uh, what does it look like? Oh my God, you gotta go. I th I just got an achievement for killing forty of them. Everything she touches burns immediately. She's the most dangerous of Faust's creations. He douses her with water, and she vanishes into a cloud of Gabe Newell. Ugh. God. Wow. That's a lot of... That's a bingo right there. She's too happy, I'm thinking. Let's get rid of another... What is the preserve happiness? Here we go. Yeah, burn some more of that. Um, let's make someone... Hold on, what are we working on? Fear. So let's make another fearful one. And then I guess someone angry. Okay, fear. A meat girl. Loss. Joy. Carapace. I never did a lot with carapace. Um, let's make a spiky one, I guess. What was it? Animal. Whoops. Damn. Ever forget your own recipes? All right. It's clay, wood, wood and fucking clay, you dummy. Spiky, you know, it's fine. Get in there, girl. Um, let's get another fear girl up. Oh, whoops. Uh, yeah, meat. It'll help me guarantee to get some high quality meats. Yeah. Okay. And now let's go. Wait, hold on. All right. Uh, I think we need to fill this up too. Yep. This is an interesting mechanic. I'm not sure if uh, I love it. I really like, um... You couldn't fulfill my request? Do you hate me too? I thought you were better than those ladies. 
Can I work here, Dad? Yeah, sure. Barbecue party. High quality meat and mid quality iron. I probably can handle that. Okay. Joy girls, go ahead and go. I really like the design for Guetta. It's like, it's a legitimately dope design. And let's go. Uh, more of those. One of these. Nyatati. Spending some days at the shop. And then let's give everyone gifts when I get home, too. Fear. Joy. Sadness. Anger. Fear's close enough. And let's go. See, it's a very simple game, which is why I recommend it to people. Okay. Moon is full. Are the affinity strong enough? They will be. Alright, so you're a sad girl. We're amping fear. Fear, here we go. Almonds. Give me a nice gift. Does that mean you want to do something I you don't want to need? Fuck. Oh, we're playing hide and go seek. That's cute. Am I wearing blue jeans? Maybe we, if you want to, we can play again sometime. Sorry, there will never be a second time. Oh, doesn't feel good. Never feels good. Yeah, fill up that fear juice. Gweta, you can stay. Diane, hey. Give me a nice gift. Do you want me to do something I won't like? Sure do. But blam, 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 blam. He's happy the homunculus resembles a human without skin. He will get his daughter back. So he cuts it with the cleaver and uses the leftover meat. You know, I'm glad this game's art style is so simple because it would be fucking awful to look at. Um, let's see if I can cheat the system like this. Yep. Lauren. And then we give her a gift. And then we sacrifice her. Does it do anything? Yep. Suck all the picture in there. Chew it up into tiny pieces. Damn. Nothing, huh? Well, let's give it a shot, shall we? Infused a soul. Okay. So, black and then white. Come on, pick up the pace. We've got stuff to do. Nothing that I can think of right now. I guess I was going to record Halo. I mean, I don't know what I'm recording. Oh, the girl suffers from a deep depression. Always in a corner, crying for no apparent reason. She stops only when her tears run out. Faust tries to talk and entertain her, but she does not respond. She eventually locks herself in a room so she can wallow in her sorrow without Faust's interference. Unable to take it anymore, Faust breaks the door open, which only makes the girl cry louder. Faust considers the experiment a failure. He extracts the soul from her body and puts it back in the chamber. Fuse the soul with one dominant affinity. This will give me more clues to determine the correct affinity. Oh, wait, hold on. So joy must be from these to these? Wow, okay. See, I keep getting things where, like, it's like, mm, I've unlocked an achievement. However, I didn't like it, so I will go back and do something else. Um, hmm. 
I'm going to... I'm going to take a short break on recording. Okay, yeah. I'm going to take a short break on recording. And then I'm going to... See if I can figure out what the hell I'm supposed to do. Um, so I'll be right back. Uh, hey gang. Oop, hold on. Left the Bismarck key on. Um, I was just recording my lovely daughter. Well, no, I was just playing my lovely daughter to try and get some stuff. Uh, a lot of people tell me about how I used to have some shenanigans going on. Uh, tell me I can record this, please. Come on. Anyway, while I was hanging around just playing shit, something happened. Okay. Oh, I think it's working. Okay. Faust rests for a while. He tries to remember all the moments he's forgotten. His wife's sickness, the meeting with the Master Warlock, and the first transmission of Homunculus. How do they relate to one another? As he begins to grasp connection between these events, a book glows intensely. He calls to him and desires him to read. Before he reaches the book, his memories have begun to flow. Memories of the pledge he made to the Master Warlock. Uh-huh. Pledge that would change his life forever. Hmm. I should take better care of my homunculus or my runaway. Okay. So, I've been working on stuff. I, I looked it up because I wasn't sure what I was supposed to be doing. Um, these values, this range of values, are all things that the homunculus are supposed to push the body to. So these, these values are all supposed to be within those ranges. So... First, let's see if I can... Uh, damn. Damn. Okay. But first, let's see if I can go get some stuff out of these things. I'm tired of looking at you. Okay. Let's see what that gets us. So I also learned that the, uh, the values that are required are actually random. Sorry. But titanium is gonna Alright, so let's see where we're getting to now. 500. Ooh, that might be too much. Okay, sadness is at 800. Sadness has to be. Okay, so that's within acceptable parameters. Anger needs to be 504 to 804, and fear needs to be. So where's fear? Fear needs some more. I think Joy is good. Yeah, Joy is within acceptable parameters. So let's see if we can... Oop, go ahead staying. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> let's, get your, uh, let's get your shenanigans up. So yeah, um... <laughs> just dump all of this into her. There we go. So I got this thing which makes your homunculi mature quicker. And this thing makes me get more money. She's close to level 8, so I may as well... Give her a little gift. <laughs> uh, one more. Yeah. And then I guess we'll just go right back out. Uh, after I replace what I burned in this. <laughs> but, um... Yeah, I'll catch everyone back up whenever I next get into the uh, into the the house. So I'm getting a lot more of these conversations, but the empty source turned into kids. I'm making these toys as a part of my redemption. Though less people think I have ulterior motives, but I don't think keeping the store open is pointless. I will take orders and send the toy out instead. I don't mind if you open it, but I am sure you will need my own collector's help. Okay. So yeah, I've been getting a lot of those. A lot of people seem to insist that I used to make homunculi that didn't even have a human shape, and that there's been a dude called the Master Warlock. And I think we already saw some of those, but can getting, getting a lot of those, so, you know. During his experiment, a memory flashes into his mind. Yeah, hey, we're back again. I'm doing a lot more of these because it's the last episode. Okay. Hurriedly, he halts what he's doing and focuses on remembering. Another memory of him interacting with the Master Warlock begins to surface. He remembers bringing a sick wife to the Warlock. Huh. Do I have any more of these? Oh! My wife has been suffering from an unknown disease this month. 
My savings are insufficient to cover the medical treatment she needs. A Celestials, I don't know what to do anymore. I have to take my wife, my poor little daughter, my business at the same time. Dare I turn to witchcraft and dark magic for the sake of our lives? Maybe they can help, but only if I can find something to teach me. These black-hearted shamans heartlessly turned down my pleas. No wonder they were dispelled from the capital. My wife's condition is worsened, and the illness has spread to my daughter. I'm broke, painless, and totally in hell. Is this the end of our lives? Last night, the Master Warlock visited my house. His robe smoldering Eldritch... Oh, his robe smoldering Eldritch eyes and... God, smoldering eyes and Eldritch staff give me a mysterious look. To my surprise, he offered to help me learn dark magic and forbidden alchemy. I should come to hell alone exactly three days from today if I am to accept his offer. Should I trust him? As if I have a choice, I must put an end to the suffering. I made a pact with the Master Warlock. He promised to share his skills, knowledge, and recipes for me for a price of my own blood which I suspect he will take after my life here is settled. I suspect he's up to something terrible, but I am in no position to question his motives. We will meet again tomorrow to begin my lessons in witchcraft. The intensive training I received this week has opened my eyes to the use of sorcery and alchemy. I made my first homunculus today, a living creature born from alchemy using natural ingredients. The key is to fo focus the natural power inside those ingredients to a ritual using symbolic circle. The homunculus can drive off pests, help with cleaning, and even be processed as raw material for food. I'm planning to sell it for some hard cash. And yeah, those are these those little homunculi that don't even have hands to be made. The homunculus business is great. It's better than selling potions. The money I've gathered is enough to purchase ingredients to make potions for my wife and daughter. It crossed my mind to ask for the warlock's help, but relying on such dark power and the lives at stake seems like a dangerous idea. Is this the same guy? <laughs> this Faust is... Almost alien. In desperation, I brought my wife and daughter to the Master Warlock. Oh, that makes sense. He told me my wife's soul had become faint. She was bound to die soon. <laughs> what was he thinking? Putting jinxes in front of her face like that? After saying this, he insisted on having me cure my daughter's illness. He gave me a handful of suspicious looking potions and told me to make some potion powder and told me to make some potions with it. Which must be drunk regularly. I can only hope for the best for them. It has been exhausting watching over my wife every hour of the day. I wish that the homunculus could take good care of her. I thought, why not? So I went to the homunculus once more, and he taught me a method to make a bigger and smarter homunculi. Wonderful, now my homunculi can nurture her while I continue my research on medicinal potions. And this one is almost dated a month later, I think. October 26th? Yesterday, my wife said something about how she felt I wish you're... Damn. Well. Wow, two letters. Hey, old man, I wanted... To I told you you needed to fill my demands. I didn't want to do it, but I burned some of your papers. I know they're unimportant. I will burn the house down if you fail again. You didn't even get close to me. Don't even get close to me. I know what you did. I know what happened to my missing sisters. How could you? After all we've done, after all of our sacrifices, consider this a warning. Don't think I'm weak as they were. They're getting too sapient for my... Thank you for the ice blocks in my room. It's wonderful to relax against it for a long day in the village. I love working hard to make you happy, but outside can be warm. Thank you, Daddy. Thank you for spending time with me again. I know you're busy and my sisters can go outside to play by themselves. I appreciate you took time away from your busy schedule to spend time with me in my room. I feel so happy to work hard for you. Okay, so let's see where we're at right now. Anger is... I think it's good. Sadness... Joy is good. Fear needs to get up. Anger needs to be below 804. And it is. And then fear needs to be above 553. I think I know who we're sacking off. Okay. Okay. I'm a bad, 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 bad man. 300. Okay, that should be good. Let's see if I can fill in with these requests. So if I can. I can't infuse. It needs to be the... Fuck. Alright, I'll be back again whenever I can actually infuse this stupid thing. Faust... Oop. Faust is distraught. Tears well in his eyes. He can't believe he let his wife die. Oh yeah, I was talking to the guy and um, 
the potion. I don't know if I... Oh, fuck, I can't remember if this was on camera. But the, the creepy priest guy stole a potion from me, and it didn't heal a sick mom. And the same thing happened to Faust's wife. Faust is distraught. Tears well in his eyes. He can't believe that his wife died. Glances at his daughter. He swears he will never leave her to suffer the same fate as her mother. He wipes his tears and focuses on bringing his daughter back. These things at the window... Is that Christmas ornaments? They just keep getting stranger and stranger out there. Oh my god, yeah, there's a sleigh bells. Of course. Aw, <laughs> oh, best girl. Christmas is kind of weird here. <laughs> the concept of Christmas. And then we give you the last ice cream. I'm running out of gifts to give these, uh, to give these people to me. Yeah, just max it out. Hell yeah. Which is going by? Okay. My wife said something about how weak she felt and how I should be more caring towards a little girl. I told her not to force herself, she needed more rest. She rested her head on my shoulder, but she never woke up. Death took her away as she put on her last smile in my embrace. Only my daughter stands between me and my desire. Wow, okay. So it's 46, and this was two years ago. June 17th, 1145. It's been a long time since I wrote something here. I've decided from, to move on from my old life and begin anew, so I built a new house for us up on the hill. It's far from the slums where I lived before. Since that time, my daughter has fully recovered and is livelier than she ever was. Life is finally looking up. I'm planning to open the, remo the reopen the monkey life business here. Hopefully everything will go well this time. Well, it clearly didn't. Um. Oh my god, that was Santa Claus. What the fuck? So I think all of these are about at the level that they should be. I think so, yeah. So, I just have to wait for the full moon, I guess. Um, so, yeah, okay. So, I don't know if it's just because I'm playing more now, but I am getting so many more letters from these girls. You've Hello, not dad. You've continued doing it, ignoring me. I will no longer consider you my father. Go make your own daughter and fill with sadness. I don't see some of my sister anymore. It seems they've already run away from home. I will soon join them. Uh, she gave me one letter about how she's so shiny and she doesn't fit in. I've been exploring the town looking for a place where I feel like I fit in, but I can't find one. At first I thought the temple would be clean, but it's not. The man who preaches doesn't shine cleanly. Where else can I look, Daddy? Okay. Let's give it a shot. <sighs> she's got a steam achievement for five infusions. Hopefully I can get a coupon on my next one. Although, ideally, the, the game ends here and I don't need a next one. Okay. Oh! Time flipping soul. The girl is alive and well, and it seems her mind is divided into self-consciousness, all which vie for control. She is constantly arguing with herself. She passes out at times when her alter ego's conflicts peak. Even awake, talking with her proves difficult. Her response is unpredictable. It makes Faust feel like he has multiple dogs at once. Okay. The book says I have to infuse his soul with one dominant infinity. So give me more clues to... Okay, so what am I doing wrong?
I'm certainly confused. <laughs> Let's, um, I guess I'll see you guys back here in another month. All right. So I basically just fucked around for an entire month. Celestial's my fault. Oh, fuck. Shit. I forgot to do this. <laughs> Oh, we've got letters. I'm worried my, bo my body will fall apart. I have holes everywhere and my edges are frayed. What if I catch my arm in a sharp corner and my entire body's unraveled? I think I should stay at home. Caitlin. Are you really my father? Why do you look so different? Why is your skin soft and mine so hard? Why was I born in this world? Why father, why? I was enjoying being in town, but I feel like someone's watching me. One of my sisters said some parts of town are not so nice, so I'll stand in the areas where I see children. I'll keep working for you. I think I've... Oh, yeah, I gave her a jigsaw puzzle. She really liked that. Steam coming off me is scary. No one else is like me. Why am I so different? Can you make the steam stop? I just want to be someone who doesn't scare others away. So I... Jesus Christ. So I figured out what the deal is. One of these is supposed to be 200 higher than the other. That's what a dominant affinity means. And I have this. This this and this and according to my math 650 and 870 have a difference of 220 oh, what? Right, here's where we infuse okay let's see if we can get it started in high animation is unskippable, I'm pretty sure. Okay, okay, okay. Huh. The moment she's brought alive, she rolls on the floor laughing. Hers is not the laughter of joy, but also fear, sadness, and anger. She laughs all the time, interspersed only by small hiccups. Whatever her feelings, she expresses it through laughter, toothy smiles, and manic grins. To Fauci she seems like an asylum resident suffering from a chronic mental illness than a truly happy girl. Okay. Book says that to one dominant affinity. I think it's looking more clues. So it's not joy. Joy has to be lower. Intriguing. Interesting. Well. Let's go clear them out. Discard and draw. I'm sorry, but like the titanium blows are legitimate. If I could have one, I would. I I would. Why do they gotta have blood? <laughs> I wish it was um possible to. Because the only way to get uh, affinities lower is to burn stuff. But all you can do is remove it by 200 or 100, which isn't as fine as I would like. <laughs> Alright. Okay, so we've got everything back to nominal levels. <laughs> So I'm, I'm starting to think that the dominant affinity might uh, be anger, maybe? Or no, because that can't be possible. Maybe these are all supposed to be in the 500 range. I'll try that, um, and then we'll see where we stand. Hey, so I've been working away at this thing, and I found something odd. This page gets skipped, and it goes right to this. This is far beyond my expectations. People from the village cube every morning in, my, in front of my house to hire homunculus to help them. Thankfully, my lovely daughter is more than happy to help me with work. She's so cute. With my life as good as this, I feel like my past is behind me. Get her back. Get her back. Get her back. It's all my fault. It's all my fault. Liar, 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 liar. Get her back. Get her back. Get her back. Uh, it continues in this manner for some time.
this nonsense Harold leave my door that fuck <sighs> so I've got everything to where I think it needs to be and there were these things in the uh, in the shop which means that if I get everyone to where I need to be I can actually uh, just do a second ritual right then and there which I think means I'll need another happiness girl. So I guess I'll get started on that. And then the other three flavors of girl. Yeah. Anger girl. Okay, so I'll be back whenever I am there. So we got letters from everyone. Uh, I'm more powerful than my sisters. No one would dare to challenge me in a dark alley. And I was challenged by a simple rainstorm. I turned the stupid drops of water into a steam, but it was tiring. Make me an umbrella that does not burn. Life is really hard for me. The villagers work inside, and they move so quickly. I want to relax in the sun and let the breeze rustle my leaves. Can I stay home and rest in the yard by myself? Um, I've already gotten that one from your clone. I'm grateful to be your girl, but I worry I won't be as good as you expect. It is a challenge to go out because I must defend myself from carnivores that try to eat me. I'll do my best to try to help. I tried making mean faces. I tried scaring them with weapons. It did not help. They would not leave. I found a solution. I bring a piece of meat with me. I throw it to the animals and run while they eat. Okay. Let's give it a shot then, shall we? Wrong girl. Lork that on there. Okay. Maybe this time. I'm starting to see why uh, getting so many different endings on the first playthrough is such a deal. Because it is kind of easy to screw up and not get so many different uh, things, I guess. <laughs> She's brought. Damn it, not again. Fuck. Okay. By the similar result, I should raise her soul with a different dominant affinity. Uh huh. How can that be? <laughs> this. Is problematic. Well, what happens if I just infuse her right now? Just to see what happens. That always reminds me of. Friday the 13th. Why the hell do they call those movies Friday the 13th? Okay. So... Yeah, none of these have updated, and that's kind of irritating. Because this has to be high. <laughs> Uh, hey, so we got this. After all he's been through, Faust finally remembers everything he'd forgotten. Let me turn the audio down, actually. Beep boop. Sleep sloop. Okay. Memories flood his mind. Glimpses of his past flash in and out, revealing the answers he'd been searching for all along. His arrival in this village, his sick wife. His meeting with the Master Warlock, his wife's funeral, the homunculi. Everything is crystal clear. Most broadly, he remembers who took his daughter. Okay. Oh, yeah, so you may be able to notice I've been playing for a while. Okay. Life would be much better with my wife here. It's lonely with the two of us. People from the village seldom visit or ask for help. With plenty of time on my hands, I decided to play around with the homunculus transmutation process. Results are unbelievable. The homunculi have humanoid shapes and emotions. What a monumental breakthrough. This is nonsense. He said it was my blood he wanted. 
I've been tricked. I can't accept this. Why did he take her soul? It was supposed to have been mine. Everything I've done was for her. Why did he not just leave us alone? Why did he do this? Just let me die. Bring my daughter back. She did not deserve this. It was my fault. Okay. Interesting. So does that actually mean anything for me? No gag. Guess not. Yeah, okay. Guess I'll just keep playing. Hey gang, uh, it's Alfred. This episode is uh, thus far proving to be one of the most problematic uh, episodes I've ever recorded because of the extremely specific uh, circumstances that this requires. I finally unlocked everything on a second account, or a second uh, save file, as you may notice. And, uh, who? it's a doozy. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to be here a while. So, see you guys later again. Wait, hold on. I had it set to cry fear mode. Let me scale that back up to normal. So these are my fucking settings. This is what I have to get my homunculus to. I finally figured out what those settings are. But yeah, it's gonna be uh it's gonna be it's gonna take some doing. And as it happens, um you can get into a place where the game won't really allow you to finish because your uh, homunculus is or your your true daughter's uh self is so confused that it'll just end up fucking everything up so i guess i'm just gonna have to work with it so i've got a lot of these girls uh, i'm gonna spend time with lauren i've stopped even naming them like i feel like this game is like pikmin in a way you know guetta is the only name that i keep consistent now because titanium girls are my favorite but yeah, I feel like this game's like Pikmin in a way, where like at the at the start of the game, you're like, oh, my balls, you know, like you got punched in the balls because you lost a single Pikmin and that hurts. And then by the end of the game, you're throwing 30 Pikmin to get your day started and, you know, feeding them to your fucking dog, just, ugh. which is to the game's credit because that's the intended point. But I digress. Uh, I'll see you guys hopefully when I have the next fucking infusion ready. All right, everyone, we're here. I've gotten as close as I can, plus a bunch of extra for happiness. I have infused over 20 times and have killed homunculi reaching into the hundreds. I'm either going to get happy daughter or I'm going to get the true ending. Fuck! Okay. I have now gotten everything as close as I possibly can to everything. <sighs> Punching my microphone stand. It's been an exhausting LP to record. It requires such specificity. It's an authentically creepy game that really does desensitize you to the horrors that you commit. My heart's pounding because... What? The ritual has ended, but nothing seems to change. Her body is still rigid. Just as Faust thinks all hope is lost. That's a new song. Her fingers twitch a little. Faust's anticipation reignites his confidence. A moment later, her eyes blink and a moan escapes her mouth. Slowly, she utters, F Father. Unable to believe his eyes and ears, Faust kneels and cries in overwhelming ecstasy. They embrace each other for an endless time. Faust's mind wa- I- Yes! I did it! It took me like 10 hours recorded over the course of like five months, but I fucking did it. I finally finished this goddamned LP. I fucking beat the game. I know there are other endings. I'm not going to get them. Maybe next year. Don't get your hopes up though. I have a lot of scary games I want to play and this game might get caught in the slip. Oh my God. Faust's mind wanders. All he's been through, everything he has wanted, the whole tragedy of his life, none of it matters anymore. Holy shit. He only wants to enjoy the moment until a sharp object pierces him. What the fuck? Faust falls to the floor, blood spilling out around him. What's happened? Anxious and scared, he looked up to where his daughter standing over him. No, no, no. It's not possible. How can this be? Typical villain thing. 
Oh my god. The moment she crouches down and takes a hold of his head, Faust can clearly see her eyes. They're not Araya's. They belong to the Master Warlock. Disguised as Araya, he chuckles as he lets Faust plunge into the pool of his own blood. What the fuck? The Master Warlock speaks magical incantations while Faust's consciousness began to fade out. He can barely feel his own body. A voice rings through the room. Hello, old friend. It seems so distant. Faust feels so light as though he is floating. As if some magical force is pulling him up. Then everything goes bright. His time has come and he knows it, but he's not ready. Not until he puts everything in the right place. So weak, so tired. Faust doesn't want to wake up yet. But someone keeps shaking his body. Slowly, he opens his eyes. It is a woman. Knowing she's no angel, Faust realizes he's alive after all. But what for? The Master Warlock took everything from him. Even his body is not his own. Holy shit. Nevertheless, the woman tending his wounds, preserving his body. Her care instills some spirit in him once more. To repay his debt, Faust helps her with his alchemy and sorcery skills. With homunculine, they're blobby again. And these, they're not really human-shaped. The homunculi in her shop, it becomes the most successful business in the village. Left with only one reason to live, Faust plots how to exact revenge on the Master Warlock, but he's nowhere to be found. No one has even heard rumors of his whereabouts. Faust knows he will show up eventually, and that he must be prepared. Faust sets off on a journey to hone his magical power. After years of study and effort, he becomes a truly powerful wizard. His fame spreads across the country. People start referring to him as... The Master Warlock. From that, at that moment, a bolt of lightning strikes his mind. He remembers he has never forgotten how the Master Warlock tricked him, and how the Master Warlock took his daughter's soul. He remembers how he hates the Master Warlock, and now he realizes he's, he himself is the Master Warlock. He has unmatched power, immense knowledge of alchemy and dark magic, however, his life will soon end. Finally, he understands why the Master Warlock took his body. He understands why the Master Warlock put him through hell. Realizing this truth, he now has to choose. Will he bring misery to his past self to maintain his power and wealth? Or will he will he yet the will he let the young Faust live with his family to achieve happiness? With more time, he's convinced he's able to keep his power and wealth while still being able to save his own family. He only needs to ensure he can prolong his life, to ensure his life will be written the way it was before. He starts his gambit. He contacts his old friend and savior to set the plan in motion. Slowly but surely, the story is rewritten. He needs to make sure that Faust is mentally broken. He starts by poisoning his wife, and then he takes away his daughter. Through time travel? He uses both the wife's and daughter's soul to strengthen his own weak soul. Then he continues his act, thinking he can save time and extract young Faust's soul after the devastating event. But Faust's will to live is still strong. It is then he realizes young Faust has gone insane, but not because he lost his loved ones. Instead, it is because of the fate that... The hatred that Faust has for himself, the Master Warlock. He now understands that his drive to move forward is not fueled by care for his family, but his ego at being tricked. His failed attempt to extract young Faust's soul has made his power weak. He only has enough energy for one more extraction. He placed Faust's daughter on the body on the bed and begins to extract his own soul. To ensure the young Faust will take care of his soul, he erased Faust's memory the past two years and puts a spell on the Faust book to give him direction and purpose. Then he extracts his own soul into the soul chamber. Young Faust not wakes up not knowing a circle of damnation will repeat itself. Oh my god. Because memory alteration is a part of the time loop, you can't break the time loop. Holy shit. Oh my god. Um, wow. What the fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> oh my god. Can I even load this save? Where does it bring me? Here. It brings me back here. Oh my god. What? What the fuck? <sighs> what the fuck? 
holy shit. Okay, that's actually a really good ending. Um wow. That's uh that's fantastic. Got to be honest, that is amazing. The this this game's twist ending is really solid. Um the way that this game forces you to make yourself into the villain is is great because at the start it's like oh i don't want to kill this this thing but i gotta game says i gotta you know let me pull this up here game says there's no other way so i've got to do it and so you do it because you're like yeah sure there's no other way i've got to do it and you do it and you do it and you do it over and over and over again until eventually it has lost all focus or fear for you eventually it is mundane it's routine it's what you do in this game you expect it it's boring you know like like the the pikmin example where at the start of the game a single pikmin's death might bring you to tears but by the end you're sacking off hundreds of the little guys because you got to get this done and it's just like that in this game you're sacking off like I don't know how many homunculi I even killed. I'm going to look at the Steam achievements to see if I can even find a fucking list of that shit. Um, I've definitely killed at least a few hundred. Uh, yeah, I'm going to say a few hundred. Oh, man. My, I'm, I'm lightheaded now because of that. I am... Whew. God damn. Like, holy shit, dude. What? I, I, I'm at a loss. And, and like, at the end of the game, the fact that you are your villain through time travel means that, yes, you know, the player likely would make those same choices because they've made them all before anyway. And, and, oh my God, I'm blown away. What a, what a small, simple, and great game. Initially, I thought that the... Because um, it is kind of frustrating to, you know, have to get the exact thing, the exact combination right. But it is gratifying to finally get it, but then it's all taken away from you. And that feeling sucks, but that's the point. It's supposed to suck. You're supposed to feel bad. You're supposed to feel angry because then you're going to do it all over again. That's why you can have multiple save files. That's why you can go back on a save. That's because it's all, it's a cycle. Oh my fucking God. It's another fucking game where a cycle is the main thing, just like God of War and Dark Souls. And I love those games, but holy shit, I play so many games with cycles in them. <sighs> There's a DLC character who I didn't even meet. I don't even know how to fucking trigger it called the Inquisitor where you can um, talk to the Inquisitor and it'll in some way change the path of the game. And I believe it can make it so you get an ending that actually breaks the loop. I imagine that's what it is because, you know, that's 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 how it be. Um, I might do that next year. It might be for a stream. Um, I might just look at it on a wiki, but... <sighs> that was exhausting. Holy shit. Uh, I'd like to give a shout out to my wife because she asked for one. I love you, Sarah. Uh, thanks for watching the series. I would like to give out a shout out to my amazing artist, the Sten, Daisy. Uh, I love her too. Uh, you're looking at her amazing, amazing art right now. Um, she got my mustache, which I didn't have that mustache when she drew this art, meaning that she predicted it. Um, I'm also not uh, a brunette anymore. I'm now a blondie. Uh, however, everything else is pretty on point, especially the cereal. I I have so much fucking cereal in my house. Uh, I would like to give a shout out to everyone who watched the series, um, especially because uh, the first few episodes have very bad audio. So the people who powered through that, uh, thanks. Uh, the people in the Steam forums for helping me out and for being creepy. Um, I want to I want to thank the ones who helped me with the ending of this game, not the ones who are creepy, but there were a lot of creepy guys. Just know you're officially not thanked. In fact, I'd announce you. And uh, th this game is very good. I would like to thank the developers. Please go play it for yourself. It's on Steam. It's might be on sale still, because um, this episode is coming out at the very ass end of October. 
Uh, but this episode has gone on long enough. Like I said, I've been recording this episode over the past few months, as well as uh, recording it across two save files, and I'm recording this whole LP over like five months now. Uh, I As I record this, it's very late into October, and goddamn, this has been a fucking Hail Mary of an LP, but I fucking finished it. I did it. I beat another game. I beat a really hard game, you know, for a given value of hard, and the LP is done. Oh my God, this means that I was my lovely daughter. The title of the game is actually the villain title. Holy shit. But yeah. This has been My Lovely Daughter, a game that the Sten recommended I play, and holy shit, what a good recommendation. It fit very neatly into this month, and it was very good the whole way through. Um, and I've been Alfred. Thank you for getting through this uh, emotional quest of fucking trash with me. God damn. Happy Halloween, everyone. Uh, eat a lot of candy. Bye. <laughs>